In France, 1789, the economic and social struggles that have gripped the country for years start to boil over. Poverty was a huge influence on the revolution. France was practically broke because of the wars it had so recently been in. Another was the fact that the Third Estate, the common people, was carrying the country on its back, yet had no rights. The Third Estate does most of the work for the economy and receives nothing in return. Revolution began to take shape at the meeting of the Estates General on May 5, 1789. The meeting was called to try and solve the country's financial problems, however no definitive agreement was reached. This was the first event of the revolution, although it wasn't seen as the first event until later. The tennis court oath took place when 577 members of the Third Estate were locked out of a meeting of the Estates General. 576 of 577 members agreed to form their own assembly known as the National Constituent Assembly. They met on an indoor tennis court. The tennis court oath stated that the National Constituent Assembly was not to separate and to reassemble wherever the circumstances may require until the constitution of the kingdom is established. It was the first time French citizens formally opposed the king in writing. The storming of Bastille, a heavily fortified prison, was the first violent form of resistance in the French Revolution. Mobs and riots were formed, and Bastille fell after several hours of fighting. The prison itself only held seven prisoners, but it showed that the willingness to rise up against authority was there. King Louis tried to flee France with his family on June 20th, 1791, and planned to stay in Austria. His family was caught at Varennes, and they were brought back to Paris, where crowds met them with silence. The assembly then suspended the king's power. On the 17th of January, 1793, King Louis was condemned to death for a conspiracy against the public liberty and general safety. At this point, he had been stripped of his title of king and known simply as Citizen Louis Capet. He was executed by guillotine on January 21, 1793, facing a pedestal where a statue of his grandfather had once stood. After the execution of the former king, a series of executions occurred throughout France. If you were even suspected of being against the revolution, you were put on trial. The trial wasn't always fair, and the majority of those accused were killed. Most were executed by guillotine, but some endured a less humane death, being beaten by mobs. This period of time from 1793 to 1794 became known as the Reign of Terror. In 1795, the Constitution of the Year 3 was approved of. This was the third Constitution of the Revolution, and for the next four years following it, France struggled to get back on its feet economically and socially. The Liberty Tree was a symbol of freedom and of France becoming a republic, but the country was far from done evolving. On November 9, 1799, Napoleon Bonaparte successfully staged the coup d'etat and took over the government of France, Bonaparte becoming the dictator. The coup d'etat marked the end of the French Revolution, the collapse of the French Republic, and the beginning of a new era for the country. While we risk our